Hi guys, Volunteer Pam here. Today I'm going to share how I transfer my outline to a gourd. I start by putting my drawing on a regular piece of paper. Uh, this example is just ordinary drawing paper. There's probably lots of ways to do this. Uh, this is the way I go about starting my transfer process. Okay, here's my secret. Once the outline is done, I use transfer paper. And I found out that transfer paper comes in lots and lots of colors. So no matter what the background I'm using, I can find a color that will transfer. So this is just like old fashioned carbon paper, except it comes in colors. And carbon paper works too if you have a light enough background. I attach the transfer paper to the back side of the drawing. And I cut down the drawing just so it makes it easier to fit to the gourd. I'll show you a picture of the front of it here in a second. Once the transfer paper is attached to the back side, I use a pair of scissors and I make trims around my drawing like this. And I try to trim it so that the um, cut marks will line up to where a fold um, is okay in the transfer. Because you're transferring something flat to a round gourd, it won't transfer exactly flat. It's gonna have folds in it. So that's what this is for. And then I use tape to attach it to the gourd. And you can see how it has folds in it, but what I've done is give it places to fold where the fold won't really mess up the drawing. So that way you still get an animal that has uh, the right shape once it's on the gourd. And then transfer the drawing. So this is the same technique as using carbon paper. Um, I use a little stylus that looks like this. It's got a little ball round end on it. Uh, pencil works. Um, lots of things would work. You just want to make sure that it presses pointed enough to get a nice clear line and but not so wide that you end up with too wide of a line. And here it is on the gourd. Now this is red transfer paper. Obviously it's not the cat. I got too excited after I took the cat pictures and painted him. So um, you get to see what it looks like on the elephant that I'm working on. And then you do your painting in your favorite artistic way that you prefer. And here he is all finished. Enjoy your art. I can't wait to see the projects you're working on. Bye guys.